Hello and welcome back to Lawrence Place Factorio Space Exploration. In the last episode I was talking quite a lot about how I'm working towards getting my science packs up and running. And I thought it was time to um, actually get those put somewhere useful rather than just accumulating them in stations. So as you can see here I've got a delicious science sushi belt running here and so I'm going to talk about that a little bit to start off with. Um, and the way I'm doing this is by feeding all of the different types of science down all of these different belts here and then into these uh, splitters just to combine them all up together. And this has a potential maximum capacity of 28 if, they, if all, of these, all of these belts are filled. Yes, there's 14 belts across here and in each one can have one science pack on either side of it and so we get up to potentially 20, 28. Now it could be 32 if I put the other splitter in here but there's only 27 different science packs in the, in the game so I thought let's just let's let's, leave, let's stop at this level because that's um well that's plenty and this will be enough to take me all the way to end game I, I believe unless I discover something new that I wasn't aware, that I'm not aware of so at the bottom here as you can see we've got the uh, the standard six Norvian sciences I, I keep trying to call them terrestrial because you make them on the ground but the planet's called Norvis rather than Terra so I'm going to uh, I'm going to try and call them Norvian sciences uh, red green grey, blue, purple and yellow. Um, I don't have quite as many of these as I would like. Um, the supply here is a little limited but it's just for sort of demonstration purposes at the moment so that's fine. Then we've got rocket science. Then on these two belts I think these two belts should probably have all of the astronom astronomic sciences eventually. These two will eventually have all of the energy sciences, material sciences, uh, biological sciences and deep space sciences and that will take me all the way as I say to the end of the game and so it looks like there's the gap down there which surprised me a bit maybe maybe everything's shifted down half a belt from what I just said and so these are all being fed up past these um, science labs which have inserters that, so they'll they'll just grab any science packs that the, uh, the science labs need as they go past from the, from the from the menu and the reason this sort of thing is called a sushi belt is because you've got this belt going around that's got all of the different dishes we'll call them um, on there and then the, the the diners on the way around can just grab whichever one they uh, whichever ones they fancy as they come past as, as they drift past them um, and then sort of just yeah pay, pay for it all at the end I suppose then all of those will come around back down this belt on the other side um, and be fed Ooh, too much zoom let's let's stop using let's try and get control of my character and then let's switch mode so I don't use him anymore. So they'll all come back down this uh, belt here and be dropped in and then we've got this array of sorters across here that's splitting out each of the science packs back into their origin, back back into their, well, one belt for each science pack. And this is um, the, the uh, essentially this is this this works through just using filter, filtered uh, splitters and the reason some of these have got some slightly odd things on them is because you can't actually select um, you can't select science packs you haven't researched yet to put onto the splitters. So these are earmarked for... Um, actually these four are probably the deep space sciences. Yes, the ones with the, um, the green cards, these are going to be for um, for the biological sciences once I get there. These are going to be for the uh, material sciences and so on all the way down. And then eventually we get onto just having the uh, Norvian sciences being spat out at the bottom here. And so as you can see from this sort of waterfall, they're all being passed down back into the, into the system again. And then each one of those is being picked up and let's try and find an example where, they, where it's got an actual backlog. Yeah, here we go, these energy science ones. These are coming down here, being loaded back into this chest here by the uh, by the um, stack inserter here. And then this one, is this this inserter, is wired up to this chest, as you, yeah, you can just about see there. And so that's set, so whenever there's less than 30 of these uh, energy science ones in this chest, it will load in some extra ones. So at the moment there's 2,400 in there because of the way I've been loading stuff into this system. Um, but eventually, when this gets below 30, these machines will start putting more in. And so the reason these are all so high is because I've been ripping stuff up elsewhere and just dumping them into the system to, to let, and letting it do the sorting for me. But the reason these chests are here is to make sure there's enough of a buffer for a full loop of these science packs to go round and then if necessary be dumped into the chest before it overflows. Because I've tried various methods of doing sushi belts before and you you could do it <clears throat> just like this but with a, um, a splitter here with a priority input and as long as none of your inputs here ever dry up, as long as you're never short of science packs that will work. You will always have it taken from here and feeding them through and passing them around on the belt. 
but if you have one of the sciences not being used and then other science supplies dry up perhaps because you're doing some biological research so you're not using the material or the energy or the um, astro science packs then what happens is those biological packs you get too you eventually get too many of them on the on the uh, trying to be fed in at the back for the for the amount of space there is to feed them out the front and the whole thing jams up and it's a, and you have to go over there and pick up a load of them to, to sort it out so you need to have a, a big buffer in there somewhere that can just take in as many as might might appear if things go a bit wrong and so that's what that's what the chests do there's always there's always room in there for literally thousands of these packs so 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 it just works out then to get things things in, as you can see here, we've got this feed of, in this case, it's the Energy Science 1s coming in. They're coming up to the splitter. It's splitting off the 1s, the number Energy Science 1 onto this belt, which is passed over to here, along here, and it goes into and it's ready, it goes into this chest, as I was saying. And those all come from, from the factory, which I shall talk about in a minute. So the reason I've got so many of, of some of these, particularly the, the biological 1s and the Energy 1s and so on, is because I've been pulling up a lot of this what was left of my factory over here so as you can see I've gone through here I did this in several stages um, first I went through pulling up everything except power poles and roboports and the reason I did that was to make sure I didn't cut off the roboport coverage of these areas before everything was pulled up so looking out here on the radar you can see I've got the roboports I've got all these power poles in there and these are all covering the areas where those um, where there used to be things happening I then ran through a second time and I used the deconstruction planner I've made that will pick up only only um, scaffolding and only scaffolding from where there's nothing on top of it. Place pull that over the entire thing and as you can see now it's cleared up ev all of that stuff. I now need to go through here again either manually or possibly carefully and just pull up the remains of everything that's left and just, just to get it tidied up. I stopped at this point because there were still a few things being made on the bus here, like these um, super chillers here. That um, th those 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 I haven't got being made anywhere else yet, so I thought I'd keep that in place. Um, and I've also got the recycling facility down here because I want to keep. I was I've been keeping that available just in case I need anything. And there's there's a, bit, a few other things along here that just haven't been pulled up yet, but I eventually will do. Um, to be honest, almost none of this is required. Um, I just need to think about it a bit and move some of the production facilities over here. I've also built up this little area here which is fed by um, by logistics bots. They drop the stuff that's needed into these blue chests. The machines will then make whatever it is. In this case, I don't even know what that is. Some sort of plasma related thing. Oh, that's, that's an electromagnetic facility. And then put them out into the chests here where they can then be picked up by the again by the logistics bots and brought to me when I come over going, oh no, I need a load of yeah, whatever it is. So that works quite nicely. It uh, it, it produces all of all of the, um, the the machines that I need to make the science. But then the science production is all being done being done off the nice uh, off the nice train system. Um, speaking of science production, yes, that's what I'm doing over here. So so we've got the we've got the um, the sushi restaurant on over here on the left, and that's being fed. Well. This station here is eventually going to be bringing in all of the Norvian science packs. It's not yet, but it is eventually going to be doing that. That's something I need to build up. But those are going to be brought up from the ground by rocket because it's going to be far more efficient to make things down there and then ship them up in the already as science packs. Then on the other side, I've got another facility. It's it's pretty similar to the to other ones I've made. We've got the um, solar arrays here and we've got the cooling going on up here. Um, but in this particular case, we're pulling in all the different things we need to make the actual science packs. So here, as you can see, we've got the, cat the tier one, tier two catalogs being brought in. There's also space for tier three and tier four catalogs to be put onto these two belts eventually. And we're also bringing in the beryllium and eventually we'll bring in low density structures to here because I'm going to need those for the science production as well. So despite the appearance of the my uh, nice neat butterfly diagram, you actually do need a few extra things in here as well. So these are then fed down the belts here and we've got merging systems going on here so this this belt here will always have the first all it well eventually will have all four of the um, catalog types on it and then we can use these machines to make the uh, make the insights from those at the moment they're just running off the first two catalog types which is fine because that's all I've got so they're producing the insights in a slightly more efficient way but not the best possible way um, and spitting out lots of the blank memory cards as well 
And those insights are then being fed down here onto a third belt. And all of that then goes down here towards these machines, which are going to be building up all of the different tiers of science, of the actual science packs. So down here we've got one that does the tier one, tier two, tier three, tier four. And these, well, the first two do work, um, but there's a few, there's, there's some minor issues. So these do actually require a few, a couple of extra little inputs here. So we've got the beryllium plates being fed in for the first one, and we've got then beryllium rods being made for the for the second one. I think the third one requires you to take in beryllium rods, turn them into space frame scaffolds, and feed those in. So that's going to be something I'll make in, in the gap here. And then there's another one. I think it's um, for the fourth one. It requires something else beryllium related um, yeah aeroframe bulkheads and that's where these low density structures go in so each each stage takes a bit more beryllium makes it into a new type and in this particular case adds the, the structures and you can then and, and you then feed them in for each level of science so that's that's not going to be too difficult those so those will all then get fed out down these belts up here and into the um, into the sorting facility over here We've also got exactly the same thing going on with the um, energy science. So we're making the insights. We're taking those along here, making them into the sciences. Here we need to make holmium cable, which actually requires plastic as well for that one. This one's going to be holmium solenoids and then holmium something else's for the, for the tier four. Again, each time you, it gets a little bit more complicated. It requires a bit more holmium and a bit more work. So, But eventually you'll get all of the things you need for, for all of the sciences. And again, fed away down the belt along with any duff memory. This, this one, this one feeds, these feed out broken memory cards as well so they get they get fed off to wherever they need to go. The final step I haven't mentioned for making the sciences is you also need these gold cards, these significant data. And those are made by feeding in the various different types of insights. And the more of these you've got, the more efficiently the machines work. Uh, so at the moment I've, I'm, I'm using two of them and so that's why it stopped because I don't have enough input of apparently the um, the second tier of the uh, of the in, of the catalogs for, for energy science so I need to give that a kick and get that working a bit more efficiently but then it'll, again it'll get dropped in here at this station like the other ones passed around and in there and, and sorted out and then we'll get then we'll get our insights here and we can start making them and then we can start making the significant data and then we can start making science uh, oh yeah and the other thing I didn't mention all of the tier two sciences require you to feed the tier one sciences round into them as well. And then the tier three sciences require the tier two sciences, which is what this belt is doing, and so on up the chain. So you've got quite, so the, the, the latest science tiers are getting to get very, very expensive in inputs, but never mind. I just need to make sure that my factory is capable of actually of producing all of the stuff that they need. <laughs> and then up here, I'm gonna be putting in the same sort of thing, another copy of this basically for the, for the um, material science and then again for the biological science and I'm hoping that if I push this out across here I'll be able to get in enough material science work that'll fit and then for the biological I'll have it coming up upwards like this in, in much the same way the um, astro is coming down or maybe I'll have the biological sorry the material come up here and then loop the biological round like that and then do something else for deep space science. I don't know, I haven't really decided yet. But hopefully there's going to be enough room here. There's certainly going to be enough room to have one one assembly machine making, well, sorry, one manufacturer making each of these. Um, the question is whether I'll be able to expand them out and we'll have to see. Maybe I should leave a bit more space before I do the um, these two as well. So yeah, that's, that's where I've got to now. I've... Um, been extremely destructive over here and extremely constructive over here. Um, building this up took a lot of thought and a lot of prototyping, so it, this this was quite a big job. But it is now working, which is nice. And in fact, I'd say this is all working as well, except for the um, the the input of the tier two sciences. I mean, you can see that it has been working because we've got a load of the tier two sciences here, and some I think some have been passed through over here as well. Um, I don't know. Maybe this. Maybe this. Maybe there's some in some of these machines. Yeah, there's some tier two sciences in here. So you can see it, see it has actually been working. There's some evidence. Um, but as I say, we've been running out of the... Where is it? Energy science. Up here. What, it, what, am, I, what am I short of? It's probably going to be memory cards. It's always memory cards at the moment. Yeah, here we go. There's a shortage of memory cards coming in here, which is presumably... Oh, and here as well. So we're not spitting out the sciences required here to make this. So we're not making those. 
we're not making these which sort of filters on and then eventually causes a shortage up here so yeah it's, it's the memory card shortage which i touched on in the last episode i need to, i need to do something about that i still haven't but once that's once we've got a decent supply of the um of the substrates coming through, oh is this this is actually running again now maybe that rocket arrived um where is it yes here we go that rocket arrived so we've got now a decent supply of, subst of substrates in there so that means this should start working again and hopefully that's now that train is now off to no, I don't know where that train's going I was going back to the depot great hopefully there's a train get hopefully there'll be a train load in here fairly soon and we'll be able to ship them out and get the um yeah that should be enough and we'll get the uh and we, we'll get some of these shipped out to another station and we can we can start building science again so for science <laughs> I'll carry on with this in the next episode, but for now, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time when um, hopefully these things will be running a bit more, a bit more smoothly. But until then, we've at least we've got the sushi flowing here over here, and it's running around and looking delicious. <laughs> see you next time.